and are off for chapter 24. The next morning, as Ralph makes his usual search for the newspaper, a patrol car turns into the cul-de-sac, slowing to read the addresses. Ralph stiffens, knowing they are looking for him. The car slows and stops at the curb, rolls down the window. Mr. Hampton, we need to talk. Privately would be better. What's this all about? We're just getting ready for Sunday breakfast. This is really necessary. We aren't here to just pass the time, hey, mister. We are here to escort you and your wife to the police station. If Maxa wanted to see us, why didn't you just give a call? We would have gone to the station. This isn't a request, sir. It's an order. Please get your wife and come with us. The neighbors are peeking out their windows, wondering what is going on. The trip to the police station is almost surreal to them. With only one broken, with the only uh, broken static of the short wave reinforcing the reality of where they were. Do you know what this is all about? Lily says with resignation in her voice. We are not at liberty to discuss the case, ma'am. Case, we're part of a case. The fountain of tears flow again. Right in here, just take a seat. Sergeant Maxwell will be with you in a few minutes. Leaving his suspects waiting in the hall is a time-honored method of keeping them on the edge of their seats with worry. This time, it has worked to perfection. Lily is a mess by the time he calls him to the, into his office. It seems we're having a problem with your alibi for Saturday night. I call the resort in your car rental, you said, uh, you would verify your whereabouts then. And no one at either place has ever heard of you. Your own mother says the caretaker, you said, would vouch for you has left town and can't be reached. Do you have an explanation for that? Oh. Ralph sits there with the volcano stirring in his stomach, trying to think of an answer. You have, to, you have to understand, we had taken the baby out of town without permission, and I felt I should erase any record of it. I paid off the clerks in both places to delete the records. It sounds like, like I'm some sort of sleaze bag, and maybe I am, but I'm just trying to help keep the baby. We lost her anyway, so it's all for nothing. How did you know where Annie Allwright lived? Why do you think I know that? I have to remind you again. I'm the one asking the questions. Now answer me. I didn't know where she lived. We have a witness who tells us you followed Annie off the bus the day you were seen talking to her. Why did you do that? She was very upset and I walked her over to her street. I was afraid to leave her alone. That's all there was to it. Lily glances to Ralph. I wonder what else he didn't uh, tell me. Now, no, miss, what's your story? Do you know where she lived and who was she? No, 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 no. I read about her in the paper. And except for overhearing her at the social services, I had nothing to do with her. I only suspected she was Shelley's grandmother since she was found on the bus. I begin to think there's enough holes in your story to hold you for further questioning. What? Hold us for what? We didn't do anything criminal. Surely not murder anybody. Ralph's fingers grip the edge of the desk as he leans toward Maxwell. That's where we're going to find out, Maxwell. That's, that's where we're going to find out. Maxwell scowls at Ralph. You had better call a lawyer if you think you need one. Officer Anderson... Come in here, please. Yes, sir, do you need me? He answers. Take these dudes da uh, down to a holding cell. I'll be there after I make a, phone, uh, a few phone calls. Ralph and Lily are led down the hall and left in a cell. Do you think we better call a lawyer, Ralph? I'm so scared, I don't know what we should do. Let's wait and see what he decides. No use paying a lawyer when we haven't done anything. What's this about Annie being on your bus? Neither thought they may be on closed circuit TV and their words recorded. I didn't tell you because I didn't want anyone to know she was looking for the baby. I thought it better just to forget about it and she would give up. I guess I was wrong. You were just looking out for me, weren't you? I'm sorry you thought you should lie for me. I never thought my desire for a baby would lead to this.